Because, again, seeing is believing. So when they're able to physically see what Vinali can do, people can really get a clear idea of how good this product actually is, rather than just talking about it. There is a teammate who actually did something similar with a different product that RX has. It's the vitamins, and he used an Apple test. He just went around to all of his friends and family, showing them the Apple after it was basically in a, the solution for a couple days, which you'll see that test in a little bit. And just from them seeing what the ARC supplements did to keep that apple fresh, that person went out there and got four customers right on the spot. So again, I would definitely encourage you to do this test in front of your friends and family. Just watch how fast your business grows and how many more customers you get through this Benali test that we're about to go ahead and conduct. All right, so here we go. We're going to start this experiment. We're going to call this the GSE quality test. So let's first talk about what some of the materials are that you're going to need to conduct this experiment. You're of course going to go ahead and you're going to need your iodine. Now why are we going to use iodine? Because iodine is an oxidant and grapeseed extract is an antioxidant. So if your antioxidant is powerful enough, it should neutralize or deoxidize the iodine. Okay, so that's why we use iodine. We're going to of course use a pitcher of water. We have our jars to hold the water iodine solution in. You have your grapeseed extract, of course. It's always good to have more than one. You can just test the Vinali, but it's always good to show your client how it compares to other grapeseed extracts. You might even want to use theirs if they have it on hand. And then, of course, last but not least, we have something to stir it with. So let's go ahead and let's talk about how to conduct this experiment. First things first, we're going to use a gallon of water to mix two tablespoons of iodine solution in. And the reason why we're going to put it in this pitcher of water first is because we want to make sure that each jar of water that's going to be tested with a different grapeseed extract has an equal amount of water with iodine solution mixed in. So let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going to go ahead and take the lid off of this pitcher. We got our two tablespoons of iodine. I'm going to go ahead and pour it in here just like that. And then, of course, we're going to go ahead and stir it to make sure that it dissolves evenly throughout this pitcher of water. So, very simple. There we go. What we're going to go ahead and do is clean our stir right here. And now I'm going to go ahead and pour this mixture of iodine and water into these different jars which will be tested. So you're going to want to use about one quart in each jar. So as you can tell we got a gallon here in this pitcher divided into four jars. That means each jar has about one quart of the solution. Alright, last jar right here. Now, you also want to make sure if you're comparing this with more than one grapeseed extract, you want to make sure that it's even all around. That way your client doesn't think that we're trying to somehow fix the experiment to favor Vinali. So I'm going to go ahead and just make sure that it's even. All right, so now that we have our jars filled with one quart of the water iodine solution, what's next? Next is the actual experiment. So we're going to take each gel capsule from these four different brands. We're only going to use half of the capsule. Let me explain why. Because as you can see here, we have only one quart of the water iodine solution. But obviously as human beings, we have much more water in our bodies. So for us, we can take the full capsule. But why are we only going to use half? Because for Vinali, when it turns the solution clear, because it's so potent, if we use the full capsule, once it turns clear, give it a couple more seconds, it might start turning a light purple. And that, I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily be alarmed by that, because we know that grapeseed extract comes from grapes, which is primarily purple. So we're only going to use half, just for the sake of the experiment. So let me go ahead and recap. We poured two tablespoons of the iodine into one gallon of water, mixed it up, and we poured it evenly into these four different jars, one quart of the iodine water solution in each. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to pour half of a capsule 
into each of these uh, jars of water iodine solution. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get started. We're going to go ahead and start off with a Whole Foods generic brand. So let me go ahead and take out one capsule here. And again, as I mentioned, you only want to use half, okay? So this doesn't take too much effort. Just going to go ahead and pour half of it in there. Just make sure you're very particular about this because you don't want your client thinking that you're trying to somehow make the experiment favor Vinali. Then we got Paradise. This is also another uh, supplement, grapeseed extract that we got from Whole Foods. I'm going to go ahead and, of course, just use half. There we go. All right, perfect. We got half in there. Get the capsule. And then we have something called Jaro. Jaro we also got from Whole Foods. Okay, going to use half of the supplement. There we go. Again, make sure you're very precise with this. Perfect. And then we have RX's Vinali. All right. Let's go ahead and use half right here. Okay. There we go. A little bit more. Okay. So, what's next? We're going to take the stir. We're going to start with the Whole Foods generic brand. And again, as an antioxidant, it should basically deoxidize the iodine because it's an oxidant. All right, so as we can see, it didn't change color much at all. Now, before we start stirring the second, the second jar, we're going to go ahead and wipe it clean just to make sure that it's not getting the first solution. Let's go ahead and stir this. All right, not much difference with that one either. Go ahead and clean it again. Then we got Jaro right in here. Okay, this one's turning a little bit lighter, but not really very close at all to completely deoxidizing the iodine. Okay, wipe this clean, and here we got Vinali. Let's see what happens with this one. All right, there you have it. As you can tell, ladies and gentlemen, that's very, it looks just like water in there. And so, as we can tell, this experiment, as I explained, was done properly, and we can tell that Vinali is the highest quality pharmaceutical grade grapeseed extract on the market. So Vinali is the only supplement today that passed our GSE quality test. So make sure that you're taking your full dosage of Vinali every single day. You don't want to miss it because we can't afford not to have the benefits of the Vinali in our body. So with that said, thank you for being here at Shine Labs. Stay tuned for next time.